Hello everyone, this is Dr. E, and for today, pag-usapan naman natin yung mga conversions ng ating mga number system into another system. Sa mga sukat or usaping mga sukat, meron tayong tinatawag na metric system na kadalasan natin ginagamit sa ating mga measurements ng length, ng width, at ng kung ano-ano pang mga bagay na pwede natin may sukat. Now, metric system, although the metric system, sabi dito, is used in most countries like the Philippines, it is used very little in the United States. At yan ang pag-uusapan natin mamaya-maya lamang. So the metric system does not use inches, feet, pounds, and so on. So yun yung ating mga tinatawag ng mga American system. And these units for time and electric electricity are the same as those using or that what we use here in the United States. So ito yung ating mga metric systems na kailangan natin maunawaan at makita natin yung kanilang mga conversion ayon sa paggamit nito. So ito yung ating tinatawag na metric units of length. So meron tayong 1 kilometers into or is equal to 1,000 meters and so on. So kailangan yung matandaan yung mga conversion factors na yan para madali natin makoconvert yung ating mga sukat from kilometers to meters, from meters to centimeters, and so on. Gagamitin natin yan maya-maya lamang. So, ang mga familiar metric system na makikita natin sa paligid natin, meron tayong 1 kilometer na yan yung ginagamit natin pagsukat ng distansya ng ating mga lugar na pinupuntahan. So, this is a bit more than half a mile kung i-convert natin siya sa American system na milya-milya. So, ang uh, 1 kilometer ay mas mahaba kesa sa 1 mile dahil ang 1 mile or ang 1 kilometer is a bit more than half a mile. At kung meron naman tayong one meter, it's just over a yard. At yard yung ginagamit ng uh, uh, US or American system sa pagsukat instead of meters. At meron din tayong centimeters na tinatawag. At ang centimeters or 0 0.01 meter ay sinlaki lamang na isang jumbo paperclip. At yung kanyang width, hindi yung kanyang haba, pero yung kanyang width, yun yung 1 centimeter na sukat. At kung sukunin naman natin ang sukat ng 1 millimeter, ang 1 millimeter naman ay yung diameter ng ating paperclip wire. So yung ating wire na yun, yung kanyang bilog, yung sukat niyan would be 1 millimeter, which is really small. At yan yung ating mga familiar metric system na nakikita sa paperclip at sa paligid natin. At paano naman natin i-visualize kung paano natin ginagamit yung mga metric system na yan. So, sa millimeters, kadalasan ginagamit natin yan sa mga sukat na maliliit. So, minsan gumagamit tayo ng mga devices like these devices na nakikita natin at yung sukat ng ating mga tornilyo, kadalasan ay in millimeters form dahil merong maliliit na mga tornilyo at merong malalaking tornilyo. Ang centimeters naman ay kadalasan natin ginagamit sa pagsukat ng ating mga damit. So, mapapansin niyo yung hub ba ng ating mga pantalon, ang sukat niyan ay usually in centimeters at dito natin kadalasan nakikita yung mga metric system na yan. At pagdating naman sa meters, dito naman natin nagagamit yan sa mga yarda-yardang uh, tela. So, syempre isang yarda, one yard, pero dito isang metrong uh, tela, pwede natin yan gamitin at kadalasan natin na uh, kikita sa pagbili natin sa divisoria. So, meters ang ginagamit natin sa mga dimension na mas malalaki at mas madali yung pag-compute niya at pag-visualize niya kung gagamitin natin ng meters. At ang kilometers, ito naman ang sukat na kadalasan natin ginagamit kapag ka bumabiyahe tayo. So yan, sabi dito, St. Louis is 30 miles which is about 48 kilometers. So mapapansin niyo na yung bilang ng kilometers ay mas malaki kesa sa bilang ng mga milyahe dahil mas malaki yung ating kilometro kesa sa isang milya. So, yan yung ating um, ginagamit or saan ginagamit yung mga metric system na sinatawag natin. At sa mga maliliit na bagay naman, tulad ng mga insects, gaya nito, meron tayong uh, bubuyog or bee. Bubuyog ba yan? Or wasp? We don't know, but in this particular example, yung ating insecto ay sumusukat ng 4 
centimeters at ang 4 centimeters ay equal to about 40 millimeters. So kung pwede natin or kailangan natin siyang convert from centimeters to millimeters, nakikita natin sa ruler na yan, tulad ng ruler na ito. So karamihan sa ating mga rulers, meron dyang centimeters, merong inches, at meron mga millimeters na tinatawag. At meron tayong sukat na yan, uh, uh, 40 millimeters, which is equivalent to 4 centimeters. At itong paru-paru naman, paru-paru G, ay 6 point something centimeters, which is about this much millimeters. So 6.3 centimeters is equivalent to 63 millimeters. At mapapansin niyo, since marami tayong unit of measurements at iba-iba yung ating mga unit of measurements, pwede nating i-convert ang ating mga units na yan using this method. So umpisahan natin sa 7 kilometers at kailangan natin siyang i-convert into meters. And I'm sure, karamihan sa inyo, mako-convert na to agad-agad dahil pamilyar na kayo sa conversion factor ng kilometers to meters. At ito yung ating mga conversion factors na tinatawag. So, meron tayong 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. 1 hectares is about, or 1 hectare is about 100 meters and so on. So, how are we going to convert 7 kilometers into something meters? So, gagamitin natin yung ating conversion factor. So, sabi dito, meron tayong 7 kilometers na kailangan nating i-change into something millimeters. So, ang kukunin natin dapat ay i-multiply si 7 km kilometers into its conversion factor. At ano ba yung conversion factor natin dito? Sabi dito, it's pretty straightforward. We have 1 kilometer into 1,000 meters. So, 1 km is equal to 1,000 meters. So, kung multiply natin to by 1 so that we're not going to uh, change the value of our conversion, pwede natin i-represent si 1 by cross multiplication. 1 is equal to 1,000 meters over 1 kilometers. At ito ngayon yung ating conversion factor na tinatawag. Conversion Factor na multiply natin dito, so meron tayong 7 kilometers multiplied by 1, 1, 2, 3 m, all over 1 km. And the reason why we're doing this is because we are visualizing our conversion procedure better dahil alam natin na si kilometer at 1 kilometer can be canceled out. So now we have 7 times 1 to 3 meter or 1,000 meter and 7 times 1,000 meters is equal to 7,000 meters. At ito ngayon yung ating conversion from 7 kilometers to 7 meters na I'm sure or 7,000 meters na alam ko na na-convert nyo na agad-agad using mental math pero gusto ko lang mapakita sa inyo yung ating process kung paano natin siya kino-convert mathematically dahil mamaya-maya lamang makakatulong sa atin yan sa pag-convert ng ilan sa mga um, unit of measurements dito sa ating mga examples. So what we did was we find or we found our conversion factor which is one kilometer is to a thousand meters and we're able to produce that by multiplying its converted or conversion factor. Kaya meron tayong 7,000 meters para sa ating conversion ng 7 kilometers. So tingnan naman natin kung paano natin i-convert yung ating susunod na unit of measurement which is 0 0.547 meters into millimeters. So, gagawin natin yung same process tulad nito. Medyo mahaba, pero mas magiging madali ito kapag ka inulit-ulit lang natin yung ating solution. So, sabi dito, 0 0.547 meters, change it to something millimeters. So, ang kailangan natin ngayon is 1 meter, change it to millimeters. At ano ba yung conversion factor natin dito? So, tingnan natin sa ating cheat sheet. At sabi dito, 1 millimeter is equal to 1 over 1,000 meters. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung meron tayong 1 millimeter, it's equal to 1 over 1,000 meters. At itong notation na to sa fraction form, alam natin na yung ating unit of measurement 
ay mapupunta sa numerator, so it's actually 1 meter over 1,000. At since kailangan natin ng conversion factor to multiply 0 0.547 m with, at yung conversion factor na yan ay makukuha natin by changing it into a factor of 1. So ating Iko cross multiply si millimeters, so meron tayo ngayong conversion factor na 1 is equal to 1m over 1, 1, 2, 3 millimeters. So meron tayo ngayong 1 meters all over 1, 2, 3 millimeters. At mapapansin ninyo na hindi natin kayang i-cancel si meters over millimeters dahil magkaiba sila ng unit of measurement. So what we can do here is to reciprocate yung ating conversion factor and multiply it to 0.547m instead so that we'll be able to cancel out millimeters. So sa algebra, we need to make sure that we're using the right method or process at ang gagawin lang natin is i-reciprocate natin yung ating conversion factor kaya meron tayong 0 0.547 meters multiplied to 1,000 millimeters over 1 millimeter. And with this, now we can apply the rule of algebra and we can cancel out the common term and we are left with 0 0.547 multiply to 1,000. Notice na hindi na, na natin na-cancel si millimeters, which means pwede na natin siyang i-multiply. And to multiply 1,000 by 0.547, three zeros, that means we're going to move one, two, three decimal places going to this direction. At ang sagot natin dyan ay 547 millimeters by multiplying this decimal value to 1,000. So that means 0.547 meters is 547 millimeters using our conversion factor. So using our method, we're able to produce the right conversion factor to multiply 0.547 meters with, and that's why we're able to produce 547 millimeters, which is what we are looking for using this method na ginamit natin, using its conversion factor. And again, some students will be able to convert this notation easily, but what I don't want you to do is to guess kung imumove lang ba natin or uh, magmumultiply lang, lang ba tayo ng 1,000. So to be avoid that confusion, use this method first so that we are able to visualize the steps na kinakailangan sa pag-convert ng ating mga unit of measurement. And speaking of unit of measurement conversion, ito ang inyong number bender challenge for the day. So you're going to convert 1.245 kilometers into centimeters. So tingnan natin kung mas magiging confident kayo sa pag-convert ng mga unit of measurement na yan using the method that I have just shown you for today. At sa mathematics, it's all about patience and accuracy. Sometimes, mayroon tayong mga problems na super dali at super bilis na masagutan. And at times, we need to do a little bit of work and uh, making sure na yung step na ginagaw ginagawa natin ay with accuracy so that we'll be able to find the correct answer that we are looking for. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!